Last week, the closing arguments in a landmark trial concluded in Conakry, the capital of West African nation Guinea, where Guinea's former president and 10 others, including former ministers, are on trial for crimes committed in one of the most brutal incidents in Guinea's history. The judges will now deliberate on a verdict. It was September 28, 2009. Tens of thousands of opposition supporters peacefully gather in a stadium in Conakry, protesting a military government and the presumed candidacy of self-declared president Captain Musa Dades Kamara in upcoming presidential elections. Soon after, Guinean security forces stormed the stadium and opened fire, beginning their brutal assault on the group. More than 150 people were killed and dozens were raped. Security forces then tried to hide their crimes by burying bodies in mass graves. For years, Guinean victims called for justice so the perpetrators could be held to account. Progress lagged until 2022 with a trial opening 13 years to the day after the massacre. While long overdue, the trial marks a major step in the search for justice for victims and their families and should inspire more such efforts for holding high-level suspects accountable before national courts in other countries. More than 100 victims have been heard by the judges since the trial started, along with each accused. Justice can be realized only if the proceedings have adequate resources and political support to be concluded and in a manner that is fair and effective. The victims deserve to see this outcome. The long-awaited verdict will provide a measure of reckoning with brutal abuses that continue to haunt victims and survivors even today.